Choline is a water-soluble vitamin-like essential nutrient. It is a constituent of lecithin, which is present in many plants and animal organs. The term cholines refers to the class of quaternary ammonium salts containing the N, N, N trimethylethanolammonium cation X- on the right denotes an undefined counteranion. The cation appears in the head groups of phosphatidylcholine and sphingomyelin, two classes of phospholipid that are abundant in cell membranes. Choline is the precursor for the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is involved in many functions including memory and muscle control. History Choline was first isolated by Adolf Strecker from pig and ox bile Greek, chole chole in 1862. When it was first chemically synthesized by Oscar Liebreich in 1865, it was known as nerine. In 1898 nerine was shown to be chemically identical to choline. In 1998, choline was classified as an essential nutrient by the U.S. Food and Nutrition Board of the Institute of Medicine. In humans Topic. Physiology Choline and its metabolites serve three purposes structural integrity and signaling roles for cell membranes, cholinergic neurotransmission, acetylcholine synthesis, and a source for methyl groups via its metabolite, trimethylglycine, which participates in the biosynthesis of S adenosylmethionine. SAM. Dietary sources of choline Some animals cannot produce choline, but must consume it through their diet to remain healthy. Humans make a small amount of choline in the liver. In the United States, choline is recommended as an essential nutrient. Possible benefits include reducing the risk of neural tube defects and fatty liver disease. It has also been found that intake of choline during pregnancy can have long-term beneficial effects on memory for the child. Choline deficiency is rare in the general population. The European Food Safety Authority states there are no recommended daily intakes in the EU and no indications of inadequate choline intakes available in the EU. The following are choline values for a selection of foods in quantities that people may consume in a day. Besides cauliflower, other cruciferous vegetables may also be good sources of choline. The USDA Nutrients Database has choline content for many foods. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Adequate intake instead of recommended dietary allowance. The Australian, New Zealand, and European Union national nutrition bodies note there have been no reports of choline deficiency in the general population. The USA joins these three in not publishing a recommended dietary allowance RDA, due to lack of consensus evidence. They have, however, published adequate intake AI values. The U.S. Institute of Medicine IOM notes that these figures are based on just one study and that there was little data and the choline made by the body assuming a dietary intake of zero may be enough for some groups. Australia, New Zealand and Canada use the figures published by the U.S. IOM. The European Food Safety Authority EFSA published its own adequate intake values, most recently in 2016. For U.S. dietary supplement labeling purposes the amount in a serving is expressed as a percent of daily value percent DV based on the AI. For choline, as shown in reference daily intake, 100% of the daily value is 550 mg. <laughs> Average or common intakes Studies on a number of populations have found that the average intake of choline was below the adequate intake. In the United States, a recently published government survey on food consumption reported that for men and women ages 20 and older the average choline intakes were, respectively, 402 and 278 mg per day. For postmenopausal women, 280 mg per day. Health effects of dietary choline Choline deficiency may play a role in liver disease, atherosclerosis, and possibly neurological disorders. 
One sign of choline deficiency is an elevated level of the liver enzyme ALT. If low choline intake causes an elevated homocysteine level, it raises the risk for preeclampsia, premature birth, and very low birth weight. Involvement of choline in long term health and development of clinical disorders, such as cardiovascular diseases, cognitive decline in aging, and regulation of blood lipid levels, has not been well defined. As a dietary supplement The U.S. Food and Drug Administration requires that infant formula not made from cow's milk be supplemented with choline. Choline providing dietary supplement ingredients include choline chloride, choline bitartrate, citicoline, CDP choline, L alpha glycerophosphocholine, alpha GPC, lecithin, phosphatidylcholine. Topic: <laughs> Pregnancy and brain development. The human body can produce choline by methylation of phosphatidylethanolamine by N-methyltransferase (PEMT) to form phosphatidylcholine in the liver, or it may be consumed from the diet. It has been demonstrated that both de novo production and dietary consumption are necessary, as humans eating diets lacking choline develop fatty liver, liver damage, and muscle damage. However, because of the close interplay between choline, folate, methionine, and vitamin B12, whose pathways overlap, the function of choline can be complex. To begin with, methionine can be formed two ways, either from methyl groups derived from folate, or from methyl groups derived from betaine which gets its methyl groups from choline. Changes in one of these pathways is compensated for by the other, and if these pathways do not adequately supply methyl groups to produce methionine, the precursor to methionine, homocysteine, rises. Choline in food exists in either a free or a sterified form choline bound within another compound, such as phosphatidylcholine, through an ester linkage. Although all forms are most likely usable, some evidence indicates they are unequally bioavailable able to be used by the body. Lipid soluble forms such as phosphatidylcholine bypass the liver once absorbed while water soluble forms such as free choline enter the liver portal circulation and are generally absorbed by the liver Both pregnancy and lactation increase demand for choline dramatically This demand may be met by upregulation of PEMT via increasing estrogen levels to produce more choline de novo but even with increased PEMT activity the demand for choline is still so high that bodily stores are generally depleted this is exemplified by the observation that PEMT, mice, mice lacking functional PEMT will abort at 9 to 10 days unless fed supplemental choline, while maternal stores of choline are depleted during pregnancy and lactation. The placenta accumulates choline by pumping choline against the concentration gradient into the tissue, where it is then stored in various forms, mostly as acetylcholine, an uncommon occurrence outside of neural tissue. The fetus itself is exposed to a very high choline environment as a result, and choline concentrations in amniotic fluid can be ten times higher than in maternal blood. This high concentration is assumed to allow choline to be abundantly available to tissues and cross the blood-brain barrier effectively. <laughs> Functions in the fetus Choline is in high demand during pregnancy as a substrate for building cellular membranes, rapid fetal and mother tissue expansion, increased need for 1-carbon moieties a substrate for addition of methylation to DNA and other functions, raising choline stores in fetal and placental tissues, and for increased production of lipoproteins proteins containing fat portions. In particular, there is interest in the impact of choline consumption on the brain. This stems from choline's use as a material for making cellular membranes, particularly in making phosphatidylcholine. Human brain growth is most rapid during the third trimester of pregnancy and continues to be rapid to approximately five years of age. During this time, the demand is high for sphingomyelin, which is made from phosphatidylcholine and thus from choline, because this material is used to myelinate insulate nerve fibers. Choline is also in demand for the production of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which can influence the structure and organization of brain regions, neurogenesis, myelination, and synapse formation. Acetylcholine is even present in the placenta and may help control cell proliferation, differentiation, increases in cell number and changes of multi-use cells into dedicated cellular functions, and parturition. Choline uptake into the brain is controlled by a low-affinity transporter located at the blood-brain barrier. 
Transport occurs when arterial plasma choline concentrations increase above 14 μmol, L, which can occur during a spike in choline concentration after consuming choline-rich foods. Neurons, conversely, acquire choline by both high and low affinity transporters. Choline is stored as membrane-bound phosphatidylcholine, which can then be used for acetylcholine neurotransmitter synthesis later. Acetylcholine is formed as needed, travels across the synapse, and transmits the signal to the following neuron. Afterwards, acetylcholinesterase degrades it, and the free choline is taken up by a high affinity transporter into the neuron again. <laughs> <laughs> Neural tube closure While folate is most well known for preventing neural tube nonclosure the basis for its addition to prenatal vitamins, folate and choline metabolism are interrelated. Both choline and folate with the help of vitamin B12 can act as methyl donors to homocysteine to form methionine, which can then go on to form SAM and act as a methyl donor for methylation of DNA. Dietary choline deficiency alone without concurrent folate deficiency can decrease SAM concentration, suggesting that both folate and choline are important sources of methyl groups for SAM production. Inhibition of choline absorption and use is associated with neural tube defects in mice, and this may also occur in humans. A retrospective case control study a study that collects data after the fact, from cases occurring without the investigator causing them to occur of 400 cases and 400 controls indicated that women with the lowest daily choline intake had a four-fold greater risk of having a child with a neural tube defect than women in the highest quartile of intake. <laughs> choline and long-term memory In humans, the brain continues to develop after birth, and does not become similar to its adult structure until around four years of age. By feeding infants formula instead of milk, and presumably through differences in choline amount in the breast milk of mothers consuming different choline levels, the still developing brain of an infant may be impacted, which may, in part, contribute to the differences seen between individual adult humans in memory and recall. Topic. Choline and lactation The human mammary gland is composed of several cell types, including adipose fat cells, muscle, ductal epithelium, and mammary epithelium referred to sometimes as lactocytes. The mammary epithelium is the site for excretion of raw materials into the milk supply, including choline. This occurs, for the fat portion of the milk, by apocrine secretion, where vacuoles containing materials bud off the cell into the lumen storage of the alveolus milk secretion gland. From here the milk will be released upon stimulation with oxytocin via suckling. <laughs> Choline in milk Choline can be found in milk as free choline, phosphocholine, glycerophosphocholine, sphingomyelin, and phosphatidylcholine, and choline levels within breast milk are correlated with choline levels in maternal blood. Choline consumed via breast milk has been shown to impact blood levels of choline in breast-fed infants, indicating that choline consumed in breast milk is entering the neonatal system. Choline may enter the milk supply either directly from the maternal blood supply, or choline-containing nutrients may be produced within the mammary epithelium. Choline reaches the milk through a transporter specific for choline from the maternal blood supply against a concentration gradient into the mammary epithelial cells. At high concentrations greater than that typically seen in humans, choline can diffuse across the cell membrane into the mammary epithelium cell. At more normal concentrations, it passes via what is believed to be a calcium, sodium dependent, phosphorylation related, active transporter into the cell. <laughs> Differences between breast milk and formula Human milk is rich in choline, but formulas derived from other sources, particularly soy, have lower total choline concentrations than human milk. Bovine milk and bovine-derived formulas had similar or higher glycerophosphocholine compared to human milk, and soy-derived formulas had lower glycerophosphocholine content. Phosphatidylcholine and sphingomyelin concentrations were similar between bovine formulas and human milk, but soy-derived infant formulas had more phosphatidylcholine than human or bovine sources. 
Soy-derived formulas had less sphingomyelin than human milk, which is a concern, since sphingomyelin is used for producing myelin, which insulates neurons. Free choline concentrations in mature human milk were 30–80% lower than those found in bovine milk or formulas. Mature human milk also has lower free choline than colostrum transitional human milk. Phosphatcholine is particularly abundant in human milk. Topic: Fish odor syndrome. Choline is a precursor to trimethylamine, which persons suffering from trimethylaminuria are unable to break down. Persons with this disorder may suffer from a strong fishy or otherwise unpleasant body odor, due to the body's release of odorous trimethylamine. A body odor will occur even on a normal diet, i.e., one that is not particularly high in choline. Persons with trimethylaminuria are advised to restrict the intake of foods high in choline, this may help to reduce the sufferer's body odor. <laughs> choline derivatives. Choline can be obtained with a variety of countierion. Choline chloride is a major nutritional supplement for example. The salicylate salt of choline is used topically for pain relief of aphthous ulcers. Choline hydroxide is a phase transfer catalyst for hydroxide. It is used for stripping photoresists in circuit boards. Choline hydroxide slowly degrades into trimethylamine. The tartrate is also known. Topic. See also Acetylcholine Citidine diphosphate choline Dimethylethanolamine Carbon-11 choline Notes <laughs> <laughs>